Like all schools, St Paul's takes the safeguarding of their pupils extremely seriously. But it's not just about keeping the pupils safe, it's about them feeling safe too. As head teacher, I've got the day-to-day -day responsibility for the safety of the staff and the pupils here and need a whole wealth of policies to ensure that happens. The big things, ensuring that we've got safe recruitment, ensuring that we've got proper child protection procedures, ensuring that the building is safe and isn't a hazard to them. So they're all the big things that we think of in terms of safeguarding, but they're not the worries for the children. The things they really worry about are the little things that are big for them the toilets, the playground and lunch times. So that's where we've taken action to ensure that they're much safer and happier places. Our playground is small by comparison to a lot of schools, but if you're four years old, it's a big expanse of wide open space populated by a lot of people you may not know, some of whom are huge age 11 if you're only four. So in our community we try to make sure that all the children get to know each other, that they all integrate and play well and we've got lots of things to enable that to happen. The first port of call often for them is the playground patrol. We go onto the playground and we make sure that um, if anybody's hurt that they, they're seen to and that, that we take them to first aid and if anybody's lonely then we play with them. And if children feel unhappy and sad that something's happened to them over break we'll take them to the friendship stop and talk to them about it. Another role for our year sixes is that of peer mediators or peacemakers as the children call them. They receive two days training in how to successfully resolve little disputes between children, minor disagreements and falling out such as not sharing and other bits and pieces like that. And they are invaluable to us and invaluable to the children. And the reason it's so important, I mean the children will tell you that it's because they're much closer to their age and they know how the younger children feel, they're not ancient. But the other reason it's important is that in the practicalities of trying to do the job we do, adults are busy and sometimes don't always give the children the time and the attention they need for issues that they might see as trivial. And if a child plucks up courage for the first time actually to admit to somebody that they're lonely or they need a skipping rope but they won't share it or what have you, it would be tragic if that was dismissed as go away and sort it out yourself or something like that because uh, the, the, the member of staff is busy on a much bigger issue. If there is something a child wants to talk to their teacher about, then they can always use bubble time. Bubble time is a space for you to get some individual attention. Like, you get a peg from your teacher and you can put it on this little bubble thingy, like that. <laughs> and it, you can talk about anything that's troubling you, anything exciting you'd like to share. You can always bring a friend as well, which is a very good thing because if you're scared or something and you're nervous about going to the teacher about something troubling or exciting, you can just bring your friend. All members of staff and all volunteers at the school um, in their initial induction are told very clearly about the rules of bubble time, but also the fact that they cannot keep to themselves any information which they are at all worried about and the first thing they need to do is report it to m myself as the senior designated person um, for child protection and it's then up to me as to whether I have to take it any further or not. It's my belief that happy children learn best, not unhappy children. And happy children are only happy if they feel safe and that's why it's so crucial from a school's perspective that if we want our children to learn and have the best possible outcomes for them in learning, that being happy and being safe is crucial to that. We know our pupils feel safe because they tell us they feel safe. Here's somebody who says their school means that it's friendly and caring and very, very happy with everybody looking happy. This one, my school is fantastic. People care for you and make you feel safe. And this one, by a, a child in year two, just says, a place where I'm safe. 